Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a histogram using bins. Now we all know that histogram is you can just bring the sales on the column and then we're going to bring order ID to the row and we're going to change that. We're going to change that to a um, measure discount discount distinct and we're do turn off the aggregate functions and change this to bar and so now you've got a histogram the problem in my opinion is that this is it's almost too granular the way to make it a little more useful in my opinion is we're going to come to sales click the little arrow and there's something here called create create bins and this is going to allow us to create bins, sales bins. We're just going to call this 400. And this is going to create bins as a dimension that are 400 um, sales in length, I mean in size. We plus OK. And now you see sales bin here. We're going to create a new. We're going to bring the sales bins under column. Bring the order ID under rows. All members, we're going to do order count, uh, distinct count. And so now you see here under the tooltips for sales, it starts at zero. So this is for sales that are in the zero to 400 bin, there's 22,000. Same thing here from four, there's 4,000 in the 400 to 800 bin. It's a little more um, user friendly in my opinion. So what about these items out here? How come they're not showing up? Well, they actually are. This just so small you can't see it. To prove it, I'm going to come to label, show marks, and now you can see that there is one clear out here in some of these other buckets. But they're just so small you couldn't really see them. So there you go. That's how you can use histogram. This is a measure, so you could add this to color card or treat it like any other measure. Easy way and very useful. And what the other thing is you would come here, left click, edit aliases, and you could change here from zero to 400 and, you know, add something so that it's actually more user uh, reader friendly.